Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon native tank and right now all I've got in it is some floating plants. They're floating because I've got crayfish in the bottom and the crayfish will be having none of that plant growing stuff in their tank. They do love to eat the plants, so I'm sure they wish there was plants growing in their tank, but they just don't allow for it because they tear them up and rip them up and dig them up and everything else so we've got a bunch of floating plants i've thrown a few capita leaves in there i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that capata capita whatever um, again for the crayfish eventually they'll get waterlogged and sink and crayfish do love them some sunken leaves and vegetation and stuff they'll probably wind up uh, eating those leaves once they get down into the bottom of the tank so it's kind of a dreary Sunday afternoon and I don't really feel like it's going to be a beautiful day for going out and having some fun out in the woods. But at the same time, I would like to get a few other critters in the tank besides just these few crayfish you can see. I don't know if you can spot that one back there, but there is one sitting right there. And there's a little tiny one right down in here. And it's funny because that cave right there actually belongs to that larger crayfish and now that little tiny crayfish is in there so whenever this one decides to go home uh it's going to be interesting to see what happens when he finds out somebody's already in there at any rate i thought we could just pop out to graves run i could dip my net in the water where it's fairly shallow scoop up a few of those little fish and see what we can see maybe i'll catch a few little minnows maybe i'll catch a few gambusia and that's really my goal i want to catch some gambusia today which as i've mentioned before are basically like a wild uh, native north american guppy very very similar looking to a guppy they're just sort of uh, dull and toned down in their color but they're the same size and shape as guppies same behavior and everything else they're known uh um, the common name for them is mosquito fish. So if you've ever seen mosquito fish, that's what I'm talking about. So we will be going out and looking at some of them and who knows what else we might find while we're out there. So sit tight, let me get in the truck and I will see you out at Graves Run. All right, the water level is really, really low today. I realized that from the last time I came out here and we went upstream and I was talking about how different it looked and everything. When I watched it on video later, I realized it looked so different because the water level was so low. And same thing is going on here. The water level is really, really low. It really should be, you know, all this sand and stuff should be pretty much underwater right now. So we'll see what we can find. I can already see little minnows darting and dashing everywhere. I can see a bunch out there, but they look like maybe bass maybe or... Well, they might be Gambusia over there. Let's see what we can see if we get a little closer to them. Oh, they definitely see me coming. No, I don't think they're the Gambusia. Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, let's get a little bit of water in here. Those are definitely little Gambusia, so let's get a significant amount of water in here. I'm also going to take a sample of water home today, and we're going to measure the pH and the water hardness and all that, and compare it to my water, and we'll see what we got. All right, now you'll often find them right up along here in the shallows there's a little group of them out there but they saw me coming there's a couple of them right through here if i was patient i could just lay the net down and wait and then lift it up as they swam over top. Oh look, can you see through the water? Can you see that little clearing with the hole that goes right down underneath those rocks? I'll bet you $100 that's a crayfish house. And you can see some clearing out underneath of here. All right, maybe I could try going out and corral them towards the shore a little bit, catching them that way. 
I don't even see them swimming around anymore. Oh, there goes a little group of them. Oh, that's perfect. There's two more. I hope I don't get home and find out that I've got you know, three baby sunfish and two, <laughs> two or three other little oddballs in there that I don't particularly want. I'm really hoping to just take home Gambusi and it's this little school out here. Ooh, three of them on that one. Some more down here. All right, there's a couple more out there. Nothing. I can spot them in the cloudy water they can't see me coming I can actually get them a little easier there's a big fat one there scoop up <laughs> that full of that sign of bacteria I know I'm going to uh, that's definitely a baby bass right there there's a couple of them oh look at them all oh no you know what those might be the brown striped type minnows yeah that definitely it's the um, Notropus species that I've got in my new world tank there's a little group of them just swam by That was a good hog, I got five of them on that one. They seem mostly to be down this end. Some. Still nothing. All right, let's try going back up this way a little bit. group of them out there in front of me but they can see me coming and they're staying out in front of me So far, I don't see any that are clearly not Gambusia. I think I got all Gambusia so far. So let's keep going. It's a 40 gallon tank, I can put a lot of them in there. try the swinging around approach again. Last time I did that I got about five or six of them in one scoop. Oh man, look at them all. 
I'm not sure if that's Gambusia or something else. It looks like something else. It's way too... I don't know what that is. They are pretty though. I don't know, we're gonna take them home. We'll find out later. They'll probably wind up getting really big really quickly. There goes a big school of Gambusi out in front of me. I don't know if I should bring these home or not. I'm not sure what they are, but they are really pretty. They're really shiny. They probably are just a type of shiner, so we're gonna take the chance. Like I said, I can always get them back out of there later if I really have to. Gambusia. All right, let's go try to get some more of them shiny things because they are very clearly a schooling fish and I only got two of them. There's a bunch of stuff swimming out in front of me. I don't know if it's those same things or not. It doesn't look like it. There they are. I wonder if I just stood still, would they just swim back around and come past me? And there's a whole bunch of them right there underwater. Problem with this net is it moves through the water so slowly. I gotta kinda hit them in shallow water. There's one more. Maybe I should start bringing the bucket up with me so I don't have to keep making this trip back and forth every time. So I definitely want to bring a few of these home. They're really pretty. I just don't know what they are. All right, let's bring it this time. All right, everybody, I managed to catch one more of them. And now that I'm looking at them, I really do think they're just the same species of dace I have in the other tank already. So I don't know if I want to keep them or not. We'll put them in there. I can always get rid of them later. Like I said, it'll be something to put in the tank for now anyway. So, all right, everybody, that's it. I'll see you back at the house. We're not going to worry about quarantine since the tank is pretty much empty already. The tank is going to serve as its own sort of quarantine tank uh, over the next week or two as we fill it up. That looks an awfully lot like the little tropa species I have in my tank already I don't know we'll see, we'll see back at the house. all right everybody we are back so this is what we've brought I know you can't see them really well but I'm telling you that is going to grow up to be just like one of the other fish I've got in my other tank when we saw them out in the stream they were so beautiful and had such iridescent coloring and now I think once they get in the tank, they're just going to fade. The Gambusi, on the other hand, are already just bland fish, so we're not really going to see much uh, color change or anything on them. So I'm going to try to just pour these out without making too much of a fuss. And so we've got a tank full of Gambusia now. It's kind of exciting. They're not very exciting looking fish. As I've mentioned before, they are very, very just plain guppies. But they're cool little fish and they're native. 
and they're fun to watch. I'm a big fan of guppies anyway, so if you drain a little bit of the color out of the guppies, I'm not going to like them any less. And so now I got a bunch of wild caught native cousins of guppies in my tank, so I'm really happy about that. And again, we'll see how those um natropus species i'm sure that's some sort of natropus species i don't know exactly which one but now that they're in the tank you can even see that they don't have that bright iridescent color anymore a lot of that's faded away already so we'll give them a few days you know and see how they uh turn out with all the stress and everything uh, i'm sure they're going to look a little washed out for a while anyway although some fish do get darker when they get stressed these appear to have washed out as opposed to have gotten darker so i'm not really sure um, how much darker they're going to get or if that color is going to come back once they settle into the tank. Uh, Gambusia are, uh, much like guppies, are very much a surface fish. So we might have to worry a little bit about losing a few of them to jumping. I do keep the water a little bit lower in this tank just to discourage the crayfish from getting out. Uh, I've got the corners blocked off so that the crayfish can't really get out. But I don't put anything past crayfish. They're escape artists. They're very, very agile. They're great climbers. And they are a lot stronger than you can imagine. I wouldn't be at all surprised if I came down one morning and that rock was knocked off of there uh, because the crayfish pushed it over. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, uh, we'll keep everybody in the tank. And they'll grow out and look healthy. And we'll have a nice, fun little tank here. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget this one here is my 40-gallon native tank. Thanks again, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.